Your video editing program, or NLE, non-linear editor, comes with three main sections. You have your screen, this is where your video actually plays. And then over here you have your bin. This is the space for your media, whether it's pictures, audio, or video clips. These you then put in your timeline, where you actually cut and edit your stuff together. Now, each program is slightly different. In Windows Movie Maker, for example, your bin is actually the file structure of your operating system. And in NovaCut, the screen doesn't show up until you push play. But as you move into ever more professional editors, the layout is going to be remarkably the same. Of course, each brand needs to have their own special names for things, so it may not be named what you're familiar with when you walk into a new program. This week's assignment is designed to get you familiar with your editing system. So, import some media of pictures and video and audio of your own creation, and then cut it together. It doesn't need to be a story. Just put something together in the timeline. And every video editing program has transitions, which I don't think any of them should have transitions. Because professional editors don't use anything more than a couple of cross dissolves or dips to black here and there. So, get your transitions out of your system. A lot of beginning editors really like them and try to use them to cover up their bad edits, but this is the last time you're going to be able to use them, so go crazy, because from here on out we're going to be cutting. That's what this Editing 101 course is all about. Now the last step in producing a video after you have cut it together on your timeline is you need to render it out. There's a difference between rendering and saving. Saving creates a project file that links the media in your bin to what you have on your timeline. A render takes what is on your timeline and creates a brand new video from that footage. So, find the export, save as, or render option to create a new video from your timeline. Then upload that to YouTube and post it as a video response to this assignment.